it's not just NFL players. A member of the Missouri House of Representatives is taking a stand against the American flag as an act of protest, he says. Representative Bruce Franks raised his right hand with a clenched fist during the pledge on opening day of the 2018 legislative session. He said he prefers to, quote, pledge allegiance to the people. Representative Franks joins us tonight. Mr. Franks, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. So you've got a sweatshirt on that says, I'm rooting for everybody black. How would you feel if I had yeah, one on that said, I'm rooting for everybody white? What would your response be to that? Um, I wouldn't be upset about it because your shirt didn't say you're rooting against everybody black. Okay. Um, so you raised a fist uh, in, I guess, mm -hmm. defiance. Or t Tell us what this symbolic act meant. What did you mean by it during the Pledge of Allegiance? So I've never said um, the Pledge of Allegiance. And even in the House last year when I was in session, um, most of the time I wasn't in the chambers because I know mm -hmm. that there are a lot of people that, you know, have a lot of respect and, and, and feel proudly about the flag and the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, I know how I feel. And so my raise of my fist was basically power to the people, um, to all people, all power mm -hmm. to the people, invested into the people. Um, and when I say I pledge allegiance to the people, um, that's who I'm chosen to represent. Um, that's who I'm elected to represent. But even before I was elected, um, that's who I stand for. Well, I mean, good for you. I think you, you were re elected by the people and you ought to represent them. When you say you know how you feel about the flag and the Pledge of Allegiance, how do you feel? So when I think about the Pledge of Allegiance, um, the thing that sticks out most is when I hear for liberty and justice for all. Uh, when I think liberty and justice for all, we obviously haven't seen that across the United States. Um, over time, over my 33 years of living, we see that there are, um, when it comes to justice, uh, that looks a little different depending on sometimes where you're from, depending on sometimes what your socioeconomic status is um, and what you look like. Huh. So, I, okay, but w so does that mean you're against the Pledge of Allegiance because it holds those up as ideals? I, I'm, I'm confused. No, so I understand that they hold those up. Well, my thing is um, we talk about uh, liberty and justice for all. We repeat a pledge. We pledge of allegiance. Um, and I pledge allegiance to the people. Um, that's who I stand for and that's who I stand with. But what about the country? And aren't the people in the country kind of the same thing? Or I mean, it, your I don't know how you feel, which is why I'm asking you, but it sounds like you're opposed to America when you take a stand against the flag and the Pledge of Allegiance, but maybe that's not your position. I'm, I'm opposed to folks in economically distressed communities being treated differently in America. Mm -hmm. I am opposed to um, the way um, our government um, treats our economically distressed communities, um, our marginalized people in America. We have plenty of veterans um, who support me, who support our right to protest, no matter what that is, even if um, they don't necessarily agree. Uh, many of them have expressed to me that this is the very reason why they fought. Um, they fought for our First Amendment rights. And we're not always going to agree on when we exercise them or what we're exercising them about. Right. But it, it's our right to exercise them. Yeah. Well, you, you'll, you won't find that contested here. And I, and I agree with you, actually, that poor people are treated badly of all races often. I want to ask you one last question. You made news recently when lyrics that you wrote as, uh, as a mm -hmm. semi-professional rap artist before you got elected came out, and they talked about killing snitches. And th mm -hmm. that, seemed, that seemed like something maybe you'd want to repudiate. You'd want to say, boy, I'm, I'm sorry I suggested it was a good idea to, quote, kill snitches. What's your position on that? So my position is, um, for one, uh, we often hear about my old lyrics, um, but they don't pay attention to the new lyrics. They don't pay attention to the new stances. Um, that was at a time when I was an artist. Um, I was using my art. I was using my similes and my metaphors, as we do um, in rap. But um, I don't stand by those things that I said um, as well as we're talking nine years ago. Um, and a great man said, uh, don't be so quick to condemn those who don't do as you do or say as you say as quick. There was a time when you don't do the same things, uh, do the same things that, that you do now. So 
All right. I would like for people to pay attention to the, the current situation and the fight that we are putting up and the stances that we are taking rather than um, old lyrics from nine, ten years ago. Mr. Franks, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it.